Welcome everyone and thank you for being there. Today, we want to demonstrate the 06 runway ILS approach at Mirabel. We expect winds from 015 for 20 knots, overcast cumulus at 500 feet AGL and one status mile of visibility. First, let's have a look on minima. Go on the bottom of the chart to find them. ILS minima are 457 feet ASL, 200 AGL, and a visibility of one half status mile. We should be good for this approach. If we lose the glide slope during the approach, minima will increase to 660 AGL and one status mile. We won't be able to switch to a localizer DME approach. Now the frequencies. We use 111.3 for the localizer and 272 for the NDB, which is the final approach fix. Runway heading for this approach is 060 degrees. Now, let's talk about the procedure. The control will drive us vertical Zulu Mike Romeo at a minimum altitude of 3,300 feet. This is the 25 nautical miles minimum safe altitude, located in the middle right of the chart. We will then turn to heading 240, back course, in order to execute our procedure turn. The procedure turn shall be executed vertical ABNE but basically, we just have to stay in the 10 nautical protected area, the circle around Zulu Mike Romeo. The procedure turn will consist in a left turn to 9 or 5 degrees. Start the watch for 1 minute and start descending to 2900 feet. After 1 minute or before exiting the 10 nautical miles radius, turn left to track 105 degrees to intercept the localizer. The most important is to ensure staying inside the 10 nautical protected area. OK, let's jump on the plane. As you can see on the ADF, bottom left, we are heading to the Zulu Mike Romeo and DB. When the needle will start moving left, we will initiate our left turn to 240 degrees. We will probably cross the ILS. It's not really an issue because we will stay inside the protected area and the wind will blow us on track. Look at the needle, here we are. Now we can start descending to 3300 feet. This is the MSA on the north side of the 090-270 radial of Zulu Mike Romeo. Now have a look on the instruments, we are following track 240 degrees, north side of the runway, the ADF needle is pointing almost behind us, thus we are good. This is why there is no need to try to be exactly on the localizer, this would be using too much brain at a moment we need it. Starting the procedure turn, stable at 3300 feet. Standard turn should be executed at VP on 10 plus 7 degrees meaning 27 degrees, but, we don't bank over 20 degrees in IFR.
We are now outbound. Take a TOP and go for one minute. We also can start descending to 2900 feet. One minute, we start the left turn to 105 degrees. Now we just have to wait for the localizer to show up. 45 degrees should not be a hard interception since we can use the NDB to know our bearing from the station. We are just a bit too high actually. Here it comes. Use a standard interception turn with lesser angle than with a VOR. Exit the turn 15 degrees before and wait to cross the localizer. established on the lock. For final, I choose a setting of 20 degrees of flaps, in case of a missed approach, with a VAP of 157 knot, we will set 25 degrees on a very short final. Still a bit high, but this is better than being too low, or worse, above the glide, which would be dangerous. Okay the glide is alive, it's time to focus on our instruments.
One dot over, gear down. Green down. Brakes under pressure, gear green, engines preset, pumps on, flaps 5 degrees, fuel and temperatures okay. Flaps are now set to 20 degrees, power is set, fuel is ok, gear green and flaps are set, ready to land. From now, we focus only on our trajectory. Remember the DH is 467 feet. We will start looking outside at 600 feet for the runway. Seeing runway lights is enough if you can use them to figure out airplane attitude. Stable. Approaching 600 feet. Runway in sight, we would be cleared to land at that point.